Hello everyone. Welcome to Vito Lecture Series of Computer Organization and Architecture. Today's topic is Peripheral Devices. It is a part of Input Output Organization. In this video, I'll be telling you what do you mean by peripheral devices, how many types of peripheral devices are there and what are their advantages. Let us begin. To start with, as I've told you that this is a part of the input output organization. So what is this? Uh, sometimes you write I oblique O. What is this? This is nothing but the input output subsystem of a computer. Right. So input output subsystem of a computer, it is actually it communicates in between the central system and the outside environment. That is why this is known as IU. Since it communicates, so it provides very efficient mode of communications and whatever the kind of operations in the computer system occur means all the input output input output organization handles all those operations right so sometimes you write io subsystems so io subsystems are what these are actually the integral part integral part you can see these are the integral part in the various applications if you are talking about some of the home appliances if you are observing some manufacturing equipments some kind of transportation systems so io systems are the integral part of all these so io organization if you talk about of any particular computer so io organization it depends upon what is the size of computer and how many peripherals are connected to it or how the peripherals are connected to it. It means IO organization, it depends upon two things, size and peripherals. Now let us understand in detail about the peripheral devices. So peripherals is actually whenever you are talking about any kind of input or output devices which is actually attached to a computer right it means peripheral devices are connected to the computer system but this is the this is not the part of a core computer architecture you cannot find itself into a computer system means these are the devices which are attached to any computer most common examples you have seen the keyboard, printer, monitor. So these are the peripheral devices. So these devices actually connected with the computer, but these are not the integral part. It means in general, or sometimes you have heard also, so most of the uh, persons, they are talking about the peripheral as those devices which are loosely coupled or externally uh, integrated externally connected with the computer that is what the peripheral devices is it means what you are uh, understanding now so the any external device which can be connected to the io module that is what the peripheral device or you can say peripherals so when we are talking about the external devices which can be connected with the computer so there are three possible devices three possible like categories of those devices means all those devices can be capped in one of the three categories depending upon the kind of function one is human readable human readable means the external devices which are suitable for communication with the users if uh, I am the user, you are the user, you can communicate with the computer with the help of the keyboard, you can communicate via screen, printer, so that is what the human readable external devices. Second kind of devices which are the machine readable means the devices which are suitable for communication with the equipments means machines can read, computer can read if the information or data is to be stored in the magnetic disk, tape, sensors or actuators. These are the external devices which can effectively communicate, right? So these are actually the machine readable and the third kind of common is external device which is the suitable for communication suitable for communication with remote devices so it comes into the category of communication so communicating with remote devices means modems 
network interface cards so as you can see these external devices it can be categorized into any one of these it may be suitable for users may be suitable for machines or suitable for the communication with the remote devices now let us discuss about the types of peripheral devices as i have told you few examples like keyboard printer monitor right magnetic tape magnetic disk so these peripheral devices which can be connected to the computer right so depending upon their function or you can say the operation it can be categorized into three category first is the input device input device from the name itself it is clear that with the help of the input device information data or instruction it can be given to the computer like if you are having a keyboard or you are having a mouse a scanner microphone something so that is what these are the input devices via which data or instructions can be given to the computer and first these data or instructions must be converted into the binary form because computer that understands the like binary pattern binary code only so input devices that converts the available data or instructions into a binary code which is compatible for a digital computer and examples have already told you second kind of peripheral device is output device this is actually its uh, function or its process is reverse to the input means from the output devices you can take the data out from the computer you can observe the data at some output screen like if you talk about monitor printer it means what whatever the data or uh, or information or instruction computer is sending so these devices can receive the data it means output device does what whatever the computer has processed done that particular information or data that is available in the form of the digital so it translates digitized signal into a compatible form which is being understandable to the users means output devices can transmit the data sometimes from one computer to the another computer also and the third is the storage device from the name itself it is clear that these devices are used to store data in the systems uh, sometimes these particular data is required for performing any kind of operation sometimes data is required to access after a certain time interval means storage devices these are very very important and they provides the better compatibility also so some of the common examples of the storage device you can name immediately hard disk magnetic tape flash memory so these are what the storage devices so this is how you can categorize the types of peripheral into these three categories in this particular diagram you can see input devices have been shown some of the output devices and input output peripherals also you can find it out right so you can name you can write so many examples when you are going to explain it since these devices are under the direct control of the computer that is why these devices are known to be connected these devices are known as a connected online right this is how you can explain let me give you in detail how it works actually here if we talk about mouse mouse is a peripheral see mouse it uses what it uses point and click technology point and click technology so that it can interact with the system and most of the mouse you have seen that they have two buttons and a scroll wheel in between them so to track the motion the ball was used in the earlier mics but nowadays mics um, those my mouse they actually uses laser light to track the motion second peripheral is keyboard so keyboard is a very common and very important input device uh, we can enter letters numbers symbols so whenever we are pressing a key on a keyboard what happens the keyboard sends a unique signal to the computer 
and the processing unit of the computer that receives the signal translates it and then only it will get to know which letter number or symbol is being entered by the user next is the scanner scanner is used to scan documents normally it is used uh, to save and uh, soft copy of the documents we commonly use scanner monitor monitor means it is a very important output device we can observe whatever the computer is processing whatever we are like uh, suppose you are typing something and you can op uh, observe it somewhere so it receives output from the processing unit and that displays it it means output is displayed on the monitor but this is temporary right so whatever we are observing on a monitor that is temporary so if there is a requirement to store it for a long time it means we need to use some other output devices next is printer printer means also it is an output device if you give any command so it means the printer will print something it means printer prints the given output whatever is being given by the computer and after the after printing whatever you are getting that is what that is permanently stored on a paper so because of this output printed on a paper that is known as a hard copy of output right and there are various types of printers you must be aware like dot matrix inkjet and laser next is magnetic tape magnetic tape is what it is mostly used for storing data and most of the companies they can they use magnetic tapes for their payroll records because in the case of uh, accessing payroll record there the access is sequential so magnetic tape it is used to store the data similarly magnetic disk is also used to store the data uh, you use hard disk so for bulk storage of the program data information magnetic disk can be used and in the case of the magnetic disk the access that is being achieved that is done by moving a read write mechanism read write mechanism to a concerned track in the magnetized surface in the earlier videos i have discussed in detail about the magnetic tape and magnetic disk so here you can see these are the different kinds of peripheral devices you can categorize it as input output or like storage so there are various advantages of the peripheral devices means peripheral devices they are very helpful for taking input very easily we can get the required specific output peripherals means they provide the storage devices and those storage devices we can use for long duration means data can be stored at a long duration and how many times we require the data the same time the data is actually available to the user and it also improves the system efficiency so there are various advantages why to use peripheral devices thank you so much for watching this video